In fact, it is growing exponentially. With this growing population comes competition for precious resources, not just amongst us humans, but between us humans and other species as well. In this competition, often other species lose. Mass extinction is a biodiversity crisis in which massive number of species go extinct in a relatively short period of time. There have been five previous mass extinctions, the most famous of which you are probably familiar with as having wiped out the dinosaurs. The others have been caused by great physical changes in the environment and great physical disasters. The sixth mass extinction is one we are currently experiencing and is thought to be human in origin. It first began when humans appeared and began utilizing agriculture as a means of subsistence. There is little doubt that humans are the direct cause of ecosystem stress and species destruction in the modern world. Humans have caused the sixth mass extinction in several ways. First, we've completely transformed the landscape of the planet. By building cities and manipulating natural resources, the Earth doesn't look anything like what it would in its natural state. Secondly, we've definitely overexploited species. We disrupt ecosystems by hunting game, and before, these ecosystems had never experienced this kind of pressure. Most obviously, there's pollution by emitting all of these chemicals which aren't natural into these otherwise pure ecosystems. We create an environment that really hurts other species. Finally, we, are, we aid the spread of microbial organisms that can cause disease that can completely wipe out other species. and the human population experienced massive growth. Approximately half of the species over 100 pounds body weight went extinct. Human expansion and global climate change were a recipe for disaster for these large species. 20 years ago, biologists began to recognize the disappearance of amphibians worldwide. Nearly 40% of them were going extinct or were already extinct. These species are especially susceptible to climate change, pond drying, and pesticides. In tropical regions, there's a very stratified ecosystem layering with layered species organization. Now, with climate change, these ecosystems are getting pressure from either side that make them smaller and smaller. So if an organism can't live in a place that's too hot, but it can't live in a place that's too cold. Now, this is getting smaller until there's less and less room for each species. Eventually, the species that can only live within these certain temperature barriers start getting bumped off and they simply run out of room. As climate change accelerates, if we do not intervene, an increasing number of species will go extinct. Human population plays a huge role in this extinction. Our population is projected to grow by 15 billion by 2100. With our current population, there is a steady decline in resources for other species. But once we reach the 15 billion mark, this decline will become a drastic crash. Evidence of these crashes can be seen in places such as Haiti. One of the most fertile colonies is now 97% deforested. The United States could be a mere 100 to 150 years behind them. There is some hope of stopping or slowing down this extinction process. Conservation measures, such as sustainable development and change in consumption patterns, are both promising methods. Ultimately, stabilization of the human population growth is necessary to make a meaningful impact.